Hello lovely people, welcome back to Nana's Kitchen, I hope you're doing well, it's lovely to have you here once again, thank you so much for stopping by, today I'm going to make one of my easy recipes which is pan fried chicken and stir fried noodles, so let's start with the chicken marinade then, I've got aromat, olive oil, I've got black pepper, some rosemary, ginger and garlic paste so I'm gonna put it all together so I chopped the rosemary I've got the ginger and garlic paste and I'm gonna add one tablespoon of the aroma seasoning that is the aroma seasoning and the olive oil I added one tablespoon of the olive oil to that as well and I'm gonna mix it all together what I have done with the chicken is I'm using here and I've sliced it very thinly and the reason for this is I wanted to take the marinade fairly quickly so I don't waste any time in the kitchen waiting for it to marinate and you could do this a night ahead as well and depending on the quantity of chicken you're doing if you're doing it a night ahead you can reduce the seasoning just to ensure that it doesn't get too salty so here, I'm just dropping it in the marinade just to get it all in and then I drop it back into my bowl and then I will set it aside or cover the bowl and you can put it in the fridge or you can just put it aside whilst you get on to prepare the other ingredients. So here are the ingredients we'll be using for the stirred fried noodles. I've got green bell pepper, red bell pepper, and the yellow bell pepper and I'm just using the variety because of the color I've also got scallions or green onions and a medium-sized carrot a light size red chili and some ginger and I've also got a medium-sized onion and two cloves of garlic which I have not shown here and this is the brand of the noodles I'll be using which is a rice whole grain one and it can be used for people who are gluten free I'm also using olive oil light soy sauce and aromat for seasoning So now here is all the ingredients chopped down, lovely and ready to start cooking. So now in my pot I've got hot water which was going to boil up pretty quickly and that is what we're going to use to boil the noodles. I'm just going to add just a pinch of salt just to season the water which will be used to boil the noodles over there and in another skillet which I've got there I'm just bringing it to the heat and that is what I'm going to use to pan fry the chicken I'm just going to drizzle the skillet with just a little bit of olive oil to stop the chicken from sticking to the skillet and in just a couple of seconds it should just heat it up and all we'll start Make it extra thick. Now, you can actually use hot boiling water from your kettlebell so now our skillet has been heating for about 30 seconds to a minute and it's nice and hot and we're going to start pan frying the chicken. So I'm just going to put in there for just about a minute to start with on each side because it's been thinly sliced it doesn't take too long to cook at all. So there we go I'll just start with one minute and then I'll check on each side and turn it over and let the other side also cook for about another minute and it should be done fairly quickly so now the hot water is fairly caught and just about to get to the boiling point and it's okay and ready for us to cook the noodles so I'll just put the noodles in and let it cook and this brand I'm using is just four minutes and it's cooked because it's very thin so I'll just put them all in and it's about 225 grams I'm just cooking the whole pack because I want to reserve some for 
lunch tomorrow. So you can also cook in batches and keep some for later. So let me just put it all in. I will mix it all together and ensure that it's all well absorbed into the water. So in just under one minute, I'm just this one side is done, but just turn it over for the other side to And just look at that grill Fried chicken is done, and I'll take them out and then keep doing the next time. Just four minutes. Our instant noodles are done, and we grind all the food for just four minutes when it's done. So we take one and turn it. At this point, all our chicken is done. Our instant noodles are cooked, so we're just gonna start on with making the stem. In the wok or frying pan, we're gonna add some olive oil and I will use one later for this recipe. So just one later is sufficient. It's not actually quite full, so that is enough. So to the oil that we put in the wok or frying pan, I'm gonna add the chopped chili, the grated ginger, the chopped garlic and the onion and I'm going to saute them for about two minutes. Now if you cannot handle too much heat, you can reduce the amount of the red chili. But this is not too much, it's just one. Um, depending on your level of heat that you can contain, you can reduce it. So at this point, it has been cooking for about two minutes and we don't want burnt ginger or garlic, so we're just going to add the bell pepper. This one, I'm going to add one tablespoon of the aromat seasoning for flavor. So, I've added the noodles back into the pot, mix it all together, and I'm adding two to three tablespoons of light soy sauce. Just stirring it all together and I'm just going to be adding the scallions at this point and they don't need to cook for too long just within 30 seconds to a minute and the food is done remember to taste for salt at this point and if it's not enough you can always add a little bit more to your taste now the food is done it's been so quick just under 30 minutes and it's all done So in just under 30 minutes, our food is ready. It's so simple, so easy, and so quick. Now, in place of the noodles, you can also use rice. Give it a try and thank me later. Delicious, nice, and tasty. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please join the family and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.